You're only going to live once. One day you're just not going to wake up. You don't know when that's going to be. So why not just choose stuff that makes you feel good? Because if you're a big news junkie and you're worried about this or that, I got some bad news for you. Neither Bill O'Reilly nor Bill Maher is going to come to your funeral, so... <laughs> Two of the most influential guys right there. Daryl Lennox joining us right now. Welcome. Thank you. Big show going on. That's the Blind right. Ambition Tour you're bringing, what, to the Vogue Theater tomorrow night? Uh, October 2nd, tomorrow, yeah. Now, this, awesome. this is an interesting story. Tell us about why Vancouver and how this city helped you with your own health to kind of overcome a big obstacle. I will, but first, you are uncountably handsome, dude. Oh, I've never... I've you are never, a good-looking <laughs> man. I, this is all, all right, so here's what happened. You are seeing 2020, Thank you. right? That's eye surgery right there. Um, so Vancouver is just incredible. It seems like every time something huge happened in my life, it stemmed with me coming to Vancouver. In 94, I went through a bad divorce, and I ended up in Vancouver uh, just to do a show, and the club owner says, well, where are you going now? I said, I don't know. He goes, well, you can stay in my basement until you get your life figured out. Uh, and it changed my life. I got to start all over and learn how to do good comedy as opposed to show business, American type it's comedy. It's not easy on stage. You got to take no. some risks. Yeah. You got to be a whole human being. That's what Canada taught me. Yeah. And then after that, uh, I met my wife here in Vancouver. Is that, is that her offset too? That's her right there. She's Claire Riley Rose, singer song. She's, she's beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then I had these two major eye surgeries and that I was afraid to get done in New York. Uh, and I came here to Vancouver to do it, and they weren't, they were fearless in how they did the procedures, and it's changed my life, man. And so I kind of want to give back, A, to the comedy community of Vancouver for helping me, uh, give back to the medical industry of uh, Canada uh, because they helped me. And so we're affiliated with this wonderful uh, program called, have you heard of Third World Eye Care Society? No. You can guess what they do. Uh, they travel to third world countries and provide eyeglasses and eye care for those that can't you know, provide for themselves. So, so I'm like kind of big, funny, black Sally Struthers. You know, <laughs> what, what's, what's the name of the doctor that really came through? Because, I mean, you make a choice to come here. Obviously, you trust our system. There were three. My optometrist is Dr. Reinder. She's awesome yeah. at the Otico Block Center. And Dr. Roy Klein. I'll tell you this story. Dr. Roy Klein in Surrey. So he pulls my eyeshade, and I go to pay him, and I give him my little debit card yeah. and a Visa card, and he goes, I don't have a credit card machine. So you know what? When you get back to New York, you just go ahead and mail me a check. He just wanted that old school stuff. Mail you a... <laughs> People still do that? I know. I couldn't believe it. Uh, and then Francis Law uh, was the surgeon who, who... He took the biggest risk because having surgery on one eye that was already damaged. And it could have left me totally blind, and he did it. And yeah. so... Well, um, you, you know, it, it, what's inspirational about this is you face the obstacle head on. You're, you're doing what you love. You're bringing it to the Vogue Theater tomorrow night. Yeah. And you brought T-shirts? I did. You got to check true? these out. So... This is a California company called The Rogue Status, and they are awesome, man. But, so check that out. So there's the little glasses right there, you yeah. see that? Yeah. I see, I like and the design. They got on, some on the back, too? On the back, there's, boom, Blind Ambition. And Blind Ambition, what can people expect in terms of the act, in terms of the routine, what's on your mind? What are you going to be speaking about? Um, you can expect me to Thank sob you. a little bit at well, some cry. point during man the show. Too? Yeah. Okay. Uh, good show. Uh, very... Uh, very interactive difference between America and Canada. I want to really show America uh, what I learned by living in Canada. What is that difference, by the way, just so I know? You can be nice. You can be funny. I don't. I don't. Ha I don't feel like I have to be. You know, this big smiley grinning brother that that makes it big in America. Yeah. You know, I can be introspective, and I always like to tell people in America. They go, "What'd you learn most in Canada?" I go, "Sentence structure." Uh, <laughs> good grammar. Yeah. <laughs> good grammar. Yeah. That is brilliant. So, All right, well, listen, you can check out Daryl tomorrow night. Details on screen over at the Vogue Theater. An inspirational story. I was walking down Granville yesterday. I saw your name on the marquee, and I said, hey, we have this guy coming on. A pleasure sure. to meet you. Thank you, my man. Really nice. All right. I like the frames, too. We had Thank a man you. moment. We're bonding. Me and Daryl, Michelle. Sure. I like it. You are devastatingly handsome, Riaz. I just have to say. Dreamy. Not, I don't know. I don't know if he's seen 2020, actually. <laughs> I, I think he is. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, it. you guys.